so welcome friends today we are going to study about the complement fixation test so the complement fixation test uh, is the test uh, for the serological diagnosis of the antigen or the antibody so this test is usually done to detect the virus or the bacteria or any of this you know antigen or the antibody from antigen and antibody so what we do in the complement fixation test so the first is the complement. So the complement is fixed. So from the name you can see there is the complement and there is the fixation. So from the name you can know that the complement is fixed in something. So the test is named according to this one. So if you see the complements are the proteins. So this is responsible for the you know membrane attack. So the complements are the proteins that is responsible for the membrane attack, the C789. So this is the complement system that is responsible for the membrane attack of the cell. So this will be, this will attract, attack the membrane cell. So, okay, membrane cell attack. So what, where is the complement fixation, complement is fixed? or the way the complement is fixed so that is the question so the complement can only be fixed in the antigen and antibody complex so if there is the antigen and antibody complex then that that uh, the complement can be fixed in this one so if there is only the antibody the complement cannot be fixed so this cannot be fixed and if there is only the antigen the complement cannot be fixed but it can be fixed in the antigen and antibody complex so this is the basic principle of the complement fixation test so now so what we do is that in this test so firstly what we do is that we will just put uh, the you know we will put uh, the antigen so suppose there is the antigen so there is the non antigen and you put the unknown antibody suppose this is the non antigen non antigen and you put the unknown antibody so you put the unknown antibody so what happens is that if there is a non antigen and non antibody and uh, along with it you put the complement system so you put the complement protein sorry you put the complement proteins so what you do is that there is the non antigen that is immobilized or there is uh, the membrane antigen so th there is the antigen so the antigen will attack with the attached with the antibody so there will there will be the formations of the antigen and antibody complex and the antigen after formation of the antigen and antibody complex the complement system will bind to the antigen and antibody complex so first there is the antigen so there is the non antigen the non antigen then after we put the unknown antibody so if there is a non antigen and unknown antibody there is the fixation so there is the uh, uh, there is the formations of antigen and antibody complex so after the formations of the antigen and antibody complex so what happens is that we have also added the complement protein so the complement will be will uh, bind or fix to this anti uh, sorry this antigen and antibody complex so we put the rbc after them so we put the rbc so what happens is that as I have already told you the complement system are responsible for the membrane attack so if there is a free complement so if there is a free complement protein then it will attack to the RBC cell wall so but there is not the presence of the there is not the presence of the free uh, complement so what happens is that the RBC will not be brushed so RBC will remain as it is and all the complements as the co all the complements are attached to this one so it will be like that one so this is about the positive result so this is the positive test so if the what happens is that in this case there is there, there the rbc is not brushed so the color is not produced so if we measure it colorimetrically there is no any color produced so no any color produced means that the antigen that we uh, have uh, put has the affinity with the non antigen so we detect so so that from that we can detect which uh, the antibody or which disease is that one so this is the case of the positive similarly if we are going to walk again so what is the reaction for the negative we should also know that one so suppose you put the unknown antigen you know you put the unknown antigen you put the unknown antibody you put the 
unknown antibody as like that one. So what happens is that if the antibody is doesn't have affinity with the antigen, it means suppose the antigen is of the HIV and antibody is of the hepatitis. So what happens is that there won't be affinity between these two. So after there won't be the there won't be the formations of the immunocomplex. So after we put the complement, the complement will not be fixed in the either the antigen or antibody. It won't be fixed in any of the things. So what happens is that the complement will remain as it is. So there will be the antigen, there will be the antibody, there will be the complement, you know. So that that will be remained as it is. So after we add the RBC, so what happens is that this complement will browse the cells of the RBC. So suppose this is the RBC, the complement will browse to the cells of the RBC. So it will browse and it will develop the red color. So that can be measured. So that can be measured colorimetrically. So in this case, what happens is that the positive test or the positive result doesn't produce any color but the negative test produces the color so this is the complement fixation test so thank you for uh, looking or uh, watching at my video so if you like this video please uh, please uh, like the press the like button subscribe the channel and share thank you